What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Dan Banks, a.k.a. DJ Fine CEO, JTU. We are Jersey Magazine and Jersey Diamonds, and I'm here with my homie, Crush Jackson. Yo, yo, yo. What's up? Crush Jackson, man. Originally from 973, all the way down from Trenton now. So now he's been all over. <laughs> but now he's in Trenton. That's a staple. We've been there since old one. So we're going to talk to Crush, get to know him a little bit. He got a project out right now called Crush Him. Part one out of all platforms. Make sure you go check it out. So let's talk, man. Let's talk, What's up, man. bro? What's going on, brother? What's up, man? You've been all over the place, man. You over here yeah. performing, yeah. traveling up here to see us, all the way from Trenton, New Jersey. We appreciate you taking travel, man. And hang out, meet. We are Jersey Mike. Well, I man. appreciate you for having me, man. It ain't that far. It's like 45. Like 45 minutes, minutes you know. Yeah. It ain't no traffic. You get in the car, you <laughs> drive. Niggas in Georgia, North Carolina, 10 hours, so 45 minutes. Oh, well, there you go. You already know yeah. that. So let's talk question. So, your music career, you've been doing this for a while, right? And um, you got this you got this dope EP out called Crushing, right? Let's talk about Thank Crushing real quick, right? Um, we can even start with the first part. The first part is the intro, you know what I'm saying? You got li some lyricism, and then uh, you got Go Get It, mm -hmm. then you got Sacrifices, mm -hmm. then you got, let me see, Turned Up, mm -hmm. and then you got Night After, right? So Or Night Before, so Night Before, Night, night, night After. After. There we go, see? You know what I'm saying? So let's start from the intro. Let's talk about the intro. When you came up with this crushing concept to your EP, what was the first thing you thought about with your intro? Mm, just making sure y'all hear exactly what I'm saying. Like, you know, putting out that confidence and then uh, giving up that aura. Okay. To let you know I'm serious. Yeah. This is not a game. I'm not playing. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So I had to give them something to, you know, make them get the ugly face and all that. Like, oh, this. He for real. He's, he's for real. Yeah, he's he's not playing. Right. All right. Definitely. Kirk, this is definitely crushing. He's crushing. Him. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. And actually, it goes, that goes with your artist name too. So definitely. You already definitely. Know. That was definitely. a simple concept. Okay. And now with the Go Get It. Now Go Get It is definitely one of the one, and turns up the two of the big mm -hmm. staples. That's where you perform and everything. What's what's some of the feedback you've been getting lately off of those two tracks? Uh, I, I get I get a lot of good feedback. People like it. They different. You know, they it's 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 not like. I want to say it's like the new sound, but it's not like it's different. Like it's a blend. Okay. It's like a, it's like Kool Aid. You put the sugar in the yeah, Kool Aid, you stir you it up, up and you can go get it. I got you. you, know what I got you. So, yeah, yeah. so yeah, like people, people love it though. It's, it's definitely a song they adapt to. And when you listen to the words, you know everybody's going to get it. You got nine to five. You, you know what I'm saying? Hustling. You doing whatever by any means. You're going to get it. Go get it. Why not? Yeah. Back it up. Back, Back it up. up. Go get it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dope. And then obviously let's go to um let's go to sacrifices, right? So sacrifices, sacrifices. you were talking about. What's what's the main line we were talking about that you said in that track? Uh can't pray for your city, no one minds in danger. Yeah. So now right. that concept that you put in there, obviously now you're talking about your city, you're talking about the right. upbringing and what you see around the city. Right. So tell me about why that's of such importance to you about, you know, putting that in your it's, track. It's it's the message, like, you know, it's 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 tragedy everywhere. It's a lot of bad things going on everywhere, you know. But it's like it's different when I'm right here and it's happening two blocks away. Mm. Right, man, two hundred miles away. Like, you know, like Chicago is going yeah. down every day, New York's going down there. But I don't live there. Mm. So I, it's not directly, you know what I mean, with me. Yeah. Whereas if I'm in Trenton, New Jersey and I live on this street and somebody get killed two blocks over. Yeah. Now I can't come out of my house. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's it's a little different. And it's like, you know, everybody say, oh, pray for this, pray for that. You want me to pray for y'all, but there's people dying two blocks from my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three houses down, somebody died. Right. Right. I can't pray for your city, no mind's in danger. It's just, that's just what exactly And putting right. out for your city, I mean, like, what's some of the feedback even from your city? Like, the, you, you pretty much are saying, like, yo, like, I'm here for y'all. Yeah. We're putting this message out for y'all, and like you know, we represent. Right. I mean, you know, it's it's general. You know, everybody everybody doing their thing. Everybody you know making their own moves, whether it's music or modeling or you know clothing. So it's just it's pretty regular. You know, people see you, they show love. They, you know what I'm yeah. saying, they keep grinding and support. Just and support. All that. Yeah, That's yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. It's it's not really too much direct negative. You know. Yeah. So. Just yeah. trying to keep it all positive. It's gotta be good to have a you know a good fan base out there and a lot of support. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Especially if you're gonna put on for your city like it's, that. It's, right? it's growing, it's it's growing, it's, yeah, it's, it's growing. Step by step. Yeah. And let's talk about that. Like even with the with the presentation of your EP, right? Because we were talking about presentation is everything. Presentation is everything. So the so with the intro and then leading to the night after, right? 
it's pretty much a build up. Mm-hmm. And what was your concept behind doing a build up leading to like the next crush in part two and everything? Well, uh, with that, I just wanted to, I don't want to be boxed in. I don't want you to think of me as just an R&B artist or a trap artist or this. So I figure I give you five different tracks from five different producers, five different five, five okay. different ways. Yeah. So this way it's like, oh, all right, well, you know, you can do a little bit of everything. And then, you know, everybody don't like the same thing. Like, you might like the intro, mm-hmm. but you might not like Turned Up. And that's your opinion, that's cool. You're gonna listen to the intro, yeah. but you ain't gonna listen to Turned Up. Then you get the opposite. Somebody gonna like Turned Up and go get it, cause that's their flow. Whereas night after, it's like, ah, it's too slow. Mm-hmm. And the intro is like, ah, he rapping, rapping, I don't wanna hear that, I wanna party. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So you gotta, you gotta try to please all the audiences. You can't just stick to, you know, one, 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 one genre, yeah. rather than, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So, so, but even you were saying, even with the presentation and your um, when you perform, mm-hmm. it's like for so for example, when you perform, you look at the vibes of the crowd, yeah, you look at yeah, the, like yeah, where yeah. you're gonna go. I kind of get that, yeah. I kind of get that, yeah. that information, like if it's Philly or because we went down to Charlotte one time, uh, did a show in New York recently in Queens. So, you know, you just try to, you just try to try to create a a, a vision for the audience yeah. you think is gonna be there, and then yeah. you pick your your tracks, like. You don't really want to perform songs where you're getting like a little too lyrical because, like I said, you're unsigned, you're upcoming. Some of the people hear you for the first time, so it's not that they don't like your song. It's just that they watch you and they listening. They're trying to hear what you're saying and pay attention. But you know, you on stage and you know your thing and you know it, so you're giving it so much energy. And then you look at a person and they're just sitting there. Now you feel like they don't like it. Yeah. So some people that might throw you off. So what you want to do is you want to give them something that is easy to catch on to. Yeah, yeah. Something they could, even if they don't know the words, the beat just make them want to move. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So when they leave there, when you get off stage, they'll remember you for that thing that, oh, his beats is fire. I got to check him out. He yeah. might have some more da 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 Or, you know what I'm saying, when he said this bar or this hook or this was catchy or when he did this move on stage to this, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta, so you gotta it's crash. Important, it's important to do your homework before you go to Yeah, to yeah, perform. everything yeah, is homework. Good. You gotta yeah. definitely do your homework. Like, it, it'll be, I mean, it's possible, but I just wouldn't recommend you just go in there and kind of wing it. I would say, you know, do a little bit, like, see who else is on the card, like, what kind of other artists is on the card. Yeah, yeah. Like, because if it's 10 people on the card and seven of them trap artists, it's gonna be like, do I really wanna do a trap yeah, song? Yeah. Like, they've been hearing trap all night. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. It's kind of like, you know, you got to figure out what works best for you. Or it's like, they doing, you know, drill music. Do I really want to go in there and do a drill song? It's 10 artists and eight of them done their yeah. drill songs. So now they probably tired, they probably don't want to hear, you know what I'm saying? And then if they doing this con, and then you come in there with something different, they'll remember you for that. Yeah. Because they'll be like, oh, well, 10 people was there, but nine of them did this con. Yeah, yeah. And then this one dude came up there and he started singing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. you know, you, you kind of want to, you, you kind of want to like stand out That's so good. people will remember you. Yeah. And yeah. Especially that go get in that turn Yeah, exactly. Like, especially with the fact that you're you're repeating the same kind of a hook and it's pretty much the beat is already right. is already in there. So in the yeah, like there. I said, by the second time it come around, now people just dancing, they singing it, and they know the words, and now you know they feel good. Yeah. So now it's like, oh, uh, where can I find that song at? Huh? You can yeah. do this. Who's the artist? Man? Go, yeah, yeah, go, yeah. You go right on Google, search me. Crush yeah. Jackson, I pop right up. I promise. <laughs> it's all over the place, Crush. It's all over the place. <laughs> you right now. That's now, it. I want to talk about one more thing with the uh, with the Crush on the EP, right? So, you actually dropped this last year, mm-hmm. right? So, talk to me about what it's like to stick with the same project for a year, like the consistency, continuing to push it. Um, continuing to build on the content, the music videos and everything, right. and um, and then focusing on crushing two at the same time. But see, it's it's kind of tough because you know as an artist, we 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 like to put music out, we like to put videos out, and we don't never really give it time to circulate. So a person might drop a song Monday, then. In another two weeks, they're ready to put another song out. Yeah. But this song could have been the one to, you know what I'm saying, give you that break you was looking for, but you didn't invest enough marketing into it. You didn't yeah, promote it enough. enough. Like like I said, it's it's seven billion people in the world, but if your video only got a thousand views, it's like, you know, that's good. Keep going. Like don't stop. Don't just yeah. oh you had a thousand, you know what I'm saying? Like 
seven billion to a thousand. Like, let's think about it. Yeah. Look at the numbers. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's wherever you live at, your population is like 30, 40,000, 50,000 people. So, a thousand in your city, that means one out of like every 200 people sent to video. That's not good enough. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's a numbers game. So, you gotta, it's like the lottery, man. You gotta push and blood. Yeah, yeah. And that's what you gotta do. And now, with, with, with your concept behind Crush Him, um, it, it dropped January of last year, and he's still pushing it, still he's pushing, pushing it even it. more. And now, actually, you're gonna be dropping more visuals. So, tell me yeah. what visuals we got. I got two more visuals. I got Go Get It Out on YouTube already. Go Get It, Sacrifice is turned up. It's already all on YouTube. Um, the intro should be done soon. I'm shooting this weekend. And then, in between that, I'm be playing for the night after. Yeah. So, by the end of the summer, you should have both of those visuals. Yeah. You know, and then still, you know, working behind the scenes and promoting marketing and doing what I need to do. So it's important to promote like that. Yeah, and yeah that's, that. that's yeah. actually more important than the music. Because like I said, if nobody's hearing it, then it's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Like, I mean, if that's, if your goal is just like, just do it as a hobby, then you know, that's cool. But if you like full-fledged taking it serious, like the yeah. marketing, Promotion is more important than music itself because you can have ten of the greatest songs in the world, but if yeah. people didn't hear it, yeah. then how great are they? You know what I mean? And so, and you know, it's it, it is tough though because it's like you gotta find the the, the proper marketing and promotion. I like that. And oftentimes, like like you be on Instagram and somebody be like, oh, you know, give me ten dollars, I repost you, yeah, get fifty over my page. Like, ah, that's cool. But that ain't really like what you need, yeah. right? Like you know what I'm saying, like that's just a repost. Like that ain't really, the like, nah, yeah, it ain't that ain't it ain't enough engagement. So that's why you're saying research is important, right? So yeah, market, you definitely got to do research. You definitely, and then you know you sometimes you got to take the risk. Sometimes they be like, well, you know, I need this, 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 and that. I ain't saying every time, but yeah. you know, if it sounds legit, and it sounds like it's going to be something. Yeah, you know, just you got to just invest in yourself. It's gonna come back. Cause a lot of times people worry about like the money of charging for a feature or charging for this and charging for that, which is cool and I understand. You know, you, you pay for, you know what I'm saying? You pay for your shit, so you must somebody pay for it. And I get that, but if we all unsigned, right, and trying to get to the next level, then you know what it's like being an unsigned artist. So you know I gotta pay for studio time, I gotta pay for beats, I gotta pay for visuals, I gotta pay for this, I gotta pay for that. Why would you try to break me and we both unsigned? Like, if you work together and collaborate. Right, if you bring yeah. your network and I bring my network and we work together, then we can build a better network. You know what I mean? That's it. Rather than people just like, oh, I charge this and I charge that. And I'm like, all right, cool, don't worry yeah. about it. I'm, I write two verses myself. Yeah. And take, what you want, 500? You take that 500 and shoot a video. Yeah. Or they you know put it back into the market. Right, or put it back into the market. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Hey, now you heard it from Crush I, Jackson I himself. He already gave you them gems. I don't know. Market, invest in yourself. Don't make no errors with your finances. That's dope, brother. So I need to know at least one exclusive thing. When are we looking forward to this crushing too, man? Like, uh, give me something. Give, that. give me something. Just like a little something. I can't give you that because <laughs> for the simple fact that it's gonna be a project in between that. Okay. It's okay. It's gonna be a full project that I'm working on right now. I'm like four beats in. It's gonna be like ten to twelve tracks. So. I'm gonna try to have it done by this year. Are we expecting some more performances this year too? Performances, yeah, probably later on in the year. Right now, I'm doing more of uh, trying to tap into different networks for interviews and platforms and podcasts and internet radio. So like, doing a little press run. Yeah, yeah like a press run. Yeah. So I talked to a person in um, Baltimore. I'm waiting for them to email me back. Um, I talked to a couple people in Philly. I think it's like another person in Jersey. It's, it's a couple, it's a couple. I try to, I'm, I want to do like, you know what I'm saying? At least like one a month, just to, cause I know it take a while to like edit the video and all of that. So it's like, when one is done, then the other one will be coming out. Like I just did a Heritage Hip Hop, shout out to them. Um, like I think it was last week or a week ago, I just did them and it's coming out in March. Yeah. So. You know what I'm saying when theirs come out, then right after that, you guys will be dropping yours. Then the next platform will be yeah. dropping theirs. So now, consistency, as consistent. we talked about. There you go. You heard it from Chris it's Jackson, man. We're just amazing. You heard it. Consistency is key. That's it. Because they gotta, like, you know, they gotta see you. Like, yeah. It's just think about it. It's, 
is it's so many people doing music or doing something mm. that's in your face, like all kind of videos and pictures and this being leaked and this kind of news and all oh, this going on. So how do you, in between all of that, how do you stand out so a person remembers that you make music, you make clothes, you make this, you make that, I can hit you up for this, you can for that. I'd be consistent. So now every time you get on your Facebook or you get on your Instagram or your Twitter and you see a video of me or two pictures of me or something that got to do with Crush, Crush Jackson, Crush him, it's gonna be like, what, who is this? And eventually you're gonna start to click, you're gonna start searching. Oh, he make music, let me hear it. Now, look, you hit the follow button, you just became a fan. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Now you tell your friends. And one of your friends just became a fan. And you know, one turn to ten, you know what I'm saying? And keep going. So it's just it does get tired. It does. It gets tired. It gets aggravated. But, you know, let the good comes easy, man. I like that. Let the good comes easy, so you just gotta keep pushing. Heard it here first, man. Crush Jackson, tell me they can book you follow or anything, man. Ah, Run it all down, brother. Run it all down. <laughs> I'm gonna give them the easiest way, man, because I know it's a lot of people lazy to do. So uh, <laughs> you can just go on Google, type in Crush Jackson, K R U S H J A C K S O N. This the new logo. Definitely shirts and merchandise coming soon. You see the hair first, and um, yeah, we turning up. Yeah, turn yeah, it up. first, man. We got Jersey Magazine, Crush Jackson. Appreciate you. Jersey turned app entertainment. Entertainment.